Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your July 4th through July 10th weekly reading. This is um, for you guys that are born um, November 23rd to December 23rd. I think those dates are right. I'm having date issues so hang on just a second. I know it's around about that way. Let's see. Um, this is November 22nd to December 21st. So I've got to get my date straight. Every book I have is different. And, it, and I, know, I know it's around about those times. But I look it up on the internet. That's all different. Everything's different. It makes absolutely no sense to me. So... All right. Anyway, welcome to my channel, Sagittarius. Force for the Trees. I really appreciate you being here. And I appreciate your time and energy. Your focus. Again, this is for the week of July the 4th. If you're in the States, happy Independence Day. Happy 4th of July. Um, hopefully, it is a... That's right off the bat. It is a time of... Uh, you get a little break, right? Maybe you get a day or two off. We got temperance. We have patience, balance, bringing something back into focus, bringing something back into um, manageability. Two of Wands, moving forward with an idea, moving forward in a space of uh, more clarity. goodness temperance is a card of Sagittarius which is you right so you're showing up in your own reading Sagittarius being in balance you know being um, having that mindset of spiritual and earth you know, material, spiritual and material, being grounded, um, making something, creating something, being very focused on it. What are you creating? What are you, um, what are you getting ready to do? <laughs> Is what I keep hearing. What are you getting ready to do? You're ready to move. You're ready to embrace your passions. You've got your ideas that you're setting out there. You're putting it out there. You might be contacting people. You might be, um, you know, writing something, drawing something, creating something, teaching, going back to school. What are you doing? What are you creating? What are you setting out there? You're setting intentions. You're, you're bringing about some type of um, new mixture, you know. You're, you're, um, it's like you're creating something out of nothing in a sense. And it leads to enlightenment. The path leads to enlightenment. Wow. That's a creation there. Right? Wow. Like a strike of lightning. Wow. I just got goosebumps. Do you see the figure in this? It's like the universe. That the energy that's in each of us. There's the That is just outstanding. There's like your third eye. See that figure? What an outstanding, beautiful card. It's like we have everything we need inside of us to create, right? I love how the illumination is on the forehead. We have everything inside of us to create. We can do it. That's gorgeous. 
All right, we will read out of the book because I do like the writing. I like the way the author writes, and I can, again, intuitively say, but I like to read it. The formidable electrical discharge of a lightning bolt brings the sky, brightens the sky, and strikes the earth, accompanied by the mighty sound of thunder. This phenomenon has a positive aspect. The light illuminates the earth and the psyche. But then, but there is a destructive side as well. The bolt can burn and even kill if it's too strong. So the force of the upper world are investing their gathered energy to ignite you with new inspiration and creativity. What have we been saying? Right? What are you creating? What are you bringing in? What are you doing? Wow. Wow. Allow this divine gift of awakening to take root in your being and enjoy a renewed sense of clarity, passion, and vision. And again, that's what I've said. It's divinely inspired, right? So I like the justification when I, I, intuitive, I intuitively read and then it comes into that. But that's beautiful. It's almost like the the waves in the sky and you know you're moving forward you're moving on a new path you're changing things up you're shifting things you're shaking things up again you're creating something that might not have ever been before right all right we are going to pull a card from esther and jerry hicks the law of attraction cards all right let's see what we've got for scorpio scorpio goodness there could be some Scorpio here for some reason uh, for Sagittarius for July 4th through July 10th all right oh, that one's like I'm going I am not in competition for well-being Competition can serve you if it stimulates your desire, but it can be a disadvantage if it hampers your belief in succeeding. In the unlimited universe, there is no need to compete for well-being, for your resources are unlimited. You may perceive a shortage, but it would be of your own making. So we always live in great abundance. We always have that lightning in us, right? We have that creativity in us at all times. It's whether or not we believe we have it. And whether or not we can spark that interest and spark, you know, make that spark come into being. It takes us igniting it, right? It takes us igniting it. It's always there. We just have to ignite it. Kind of like my Palo Santo. It's always here, but I have to ignite it in order to make it smoke. But it's always there. If you want it to move forward, if you want it to ignite, you have to go forward. You have to go forward and pursue it. Right? You have to do it. You have to do what you're set out to do. What you've been toying with. What you've been creating. What you've been mixing. What you've been um, putting together. Right? It's going to move you forward in life on the path you need to be on. And this card tells me that not everybody's on this path. It might be a lonely path. You might be one of a kind on this path. But you're okay with that, Sagittarius. You're okay with that. It's like... Um, the time is right. I just keep hearing the time is right. The time's now. Act on it. It's, it's, I feel like you have things in, you know, ready to go. You have things in play. And 
you're hesitating. And this might be the catalyst you need to move forward. This might be the catalyst you need to say, I'm going back to school. I'm getting my doctorate. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. This might be the catalyst you need. Or I'm creating whatever, you know. But do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Beautiful card. Beautiful. Sagittarius, thank you for watching. If you like the video, thumbs up, please, if you want to. If you um, have not subscribed and would like to, please do so. I put out weekly, monthly um, singles and uh, committed readings for all the signs. And hit the notification bell if you'd like to know when the next upload is uploaded. Again, I appreciate you all. What a beautiful, I would love to hear how this resonates with you. What a beautiful, beautiful reading. Good luck to you, Sagittarius. Have a great week. You know, this is like a month reading. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. So you've got a very busy week coming up. Good luck to you, and I'd like to hear how this resonates. Take care, and bye for now.